hidden but powerful. So after Warner Brothers' unsuccessful attempts to revive Tarzan, Sony has taken over the rights to make a Tarzan movie. Will there be a new Tarzan film coming out in 2025? Let's dive into what we know about this upcoming live-action film starring The Rock. Sure, for those unfamiliar with Tarzan, he's actually a fictional character named John Clayton II, Viscount Greystoke. He was raised as a feral child in the African jungle by Mangani great apes. Despite later experiencing civilization, Tarzan ultimately rejects it and returns to the wild, becoming a heroic adventurer. Created by Edgar Rice Burroughs, Tarzan made his debut in the novel Tarzan of the Apes, which was first published in magazines in 1912 and later as a book in 1914. Following this initial story, Tarzan appeared in 23 sequels authored by Burroughs himself and other writers. His adventures have been adapted into numerous works across various media, both officially sanctioned and unauthorized. Tarzan's backstory is rooted in tragedy. He is the son of a British lord and lady who were stranded on the African coast by mutineers. Tarzan's mother died when he was an infant, and his father was killed by Kerchak, the leader of the ape tribe that adopted Tarzan as one of their own. Raised by the Mangani apes, Tarzan grew up as a feral child, learning their ways and adopting their lifestyle. His ape mother, Kala, played a crucial role in his upbringing. Burroughs further explored Tarzan's early years in his sixth book, Jungle Tales of Tarzan, which delves into the adventures and challenges Tarzan faced during his adolescence in the jungle. This rich background not only establishes Tarzan as a unique character, but also sets the stage for his iconic adventures and his ongoing conflict between the civilized world and the untamed jungle that he calls home. Sony's recent acquisition of the Tarzan film rights marks a fresh attempt to rejuvenate the iconic jungle hero on the big screen. Tarzan's story has been a staple in cinema and television, beginning with the 1918 silent film Tarzan of the Apes, and more recently, inspiring Disney's animated adaptation in 1999. Warner Brothers' 2016 adaptation, The Legend of Tarzan, helmed by director David Yates of Harry Potter fame, aimed to revitalize the franchise. Starring Alexander Skarsgård, Margot Robbie, Christoph Waltz, and Samuel L. Jackson, the film boasted an impressive cast. However, despite high hopes, it fell short critically and financially, causing Warner Brothers an estimated $40 million loss. The underwhelming reception dashed sequel plans and left the franchise in limbo. Now, Sony steps in to continue Tarzan's cinematic journey. The studio has acquired the rights from the Burroughs estate and plans a total reinvention of the character and his world, as reported by THR. This reinvention suggests a fresh take on Tarzan's mythos, potentially exploring new angles and narratives not explored in previous adaptations. As of now, details are scarce regarding the creative team behind Sony's new Tarzan project. No screenwriter or director has been attached, leaving plenty of room for speculation and anticipation within the industry and among fans. Sony's bold move reflects a commitment to breathe new life into Tarzan, aiming to capture the essence of Edgar Rice Burroughs' timeless creation while offering a contemporary spin that resonates with modern audiences. With the right vision and talent, this reimagining could pave the way for a compelling and successful reintroduction of Tarzan to the cinematic landscape. One of the biggest questions looming over Sony's new Tarzan project is whether it can avoid the pitfalls that befell Warner Brothers' attempts. Warner Brothers struggled to make Tarzan relevant to modern audiences, leading to Sony's decision to pursue a total reinvention of the character. Tarzan has a storied history in pop culture, originating from a time with vastly different perspectives on colonialism, race, and gender. A faithful adaptation of the original source material would undoubtedly pose challenges in today's context, potentially raising issues of representation and outdated tropes. Yates's film attempted to address some of these concerns, but ultimately fell short, grappling with a narrative that critics argued reinforced a white savior complex. Sony's approach to updating Tarzan for contemporary sensibilities remains uncertain, 
leaving the task ahead for the filmmakers daunting. Tarzan's legacy as a product of its era necessitates navigating a complex cultural and political landscape sensitively. The success of Sony's reinvention will hinge on the ability of its creative team to navigate these challenges with nuance and relevance, ensuring Tarzan can resonate authentically with 21st century audiences. Sony's Tarzan project has sparked casting rumors, with speculation swirling around Dwayne Johnson potentially taking on the lead role. Known for his charismatic presence and action-packed performances, Johnson seems like a natural fit for a character as physically demanding as Tarzan. However, scheduling conflicts could pose a significant hurdle. Johnson is already committed to reprising his role as Maui in Disney's live-action Moana reboot, a project likely to demand considerable time and effort. Additionally, he has hinted at a return to the wrestling ring, stirring excitement among WWE fans. His surprise appearance in the post credit scene of Fast X suggests a possible return to the Fast and Furious franchise, potentially leading to a substantial role in the upcoming Fast 11. Given these commitments, securing Johnson for Sony's Tarzan would require careful planning and coordination to align with his packed schedule. Another rumored contender for the lead role in Sony's new Tarzan live-action movie is Henry Cavill. Known for his roles as Superman in the DC Extended Universe and Geralt of Rivia in Netflix's The Witcher series, Cavill has demonstrated both physical prowess and acting depth suitable for embodying the iconic character of Tarzan. His experience in portraying larger-than-life heroes, coupled with his dedicated fan base, positions him as a strong candidate to breathe new life into Tarzan on the big screen. However, similar to Dwayne Johnson, Cavill's availability might be a concern. He is slated to continue his role as Geralt in future seasons of The Witcher, a commitment that could potentially conflict with filming schedules for other projects. Cavill has expressed interest in exploring various roles that challenge him as an actor, making his decision to take on the role of Tarzan dependent on the script's quality and the creative direction of the film. With casting rumors swirling and no official announcements yet, fans await news on who will step into the loincloth of Tarzan for Sony's anticipated reboot. The choice of lead actor will be crucial in defining the tone and direction of the film, especially as Sony aims for a total reinvention of the character to resonate with modern audiences. That said, it seems like the stage is set for a potential Sony reboot of Tarzan, and interestingly, there's also chatter about a sequel to The Legend of Tarzan. And that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one. Remember, your suggestions for future videos are always welcome in the comments below. Whether Netflix decides to dive into a sequel starring Margot Robbie, or Sony reboots a new live-action movie. It looks like we're in for more jungle adventures ahead. What do you think about these potential projects? Let us know in the comments below.